hello everyone uh, welcome to learn programming by lucky sir channel so today we are talking about a uh, very famous test automation framework entry questions and answers so these questions for um, freshers and experienced person as well so the first question is uh, what is framework so a framework defines a set of rules or guidelines uh, which make uh, uh, practices which we can follow in a systematic way to achieve a desired result then what are the popular test automation framework uh, there are different types of automation uh, testing frameworks are available in the market but uh, mostly uh, used frameworks are data driven testing framework, keyword driven testing framework, and a hybrid testing framework. Then, what is a data driven testing framework? In data driven framework, all of our test data is generated from some external files like Excel. CSV, XML, or some database table. Then, what is keyword driven testing framework? In this framework, all the operations and instructions are written in some external files such as Excel, Excel worksheets. Then, uh, what about hybrid testing framework? It is a concept where, where we are using the advantage of both the keyword and data driven framework. The next question is why should we use a uh, framework in a test automation project we do perform different tasks by using different types of files to organize and manage all the files and to finish all the tasks in a systematic approach we use framework so uh, the next question is have you developed any framework so if you are a fresher you should say no i don't get a chance to create a framework if you are an experienced guy then you should say yes i have developed or i have created a framework in my project the next question is uh, what are the advantages of a test automation framework so there are a lot of advantages are there uh, by using test automation framework. So some of uh, some of them I am going to explain. The first um, advantage is it saves time and money. So that means automation means automation testing is faster in execution. The second advantage is a reusability of code. That means uh, create one time and execute multiple times with less or no maintenance. And the third advantage is easy reporting. It generates the automatic reports after test execution. And the fourth advantage is the easy for compatibility testing. It enables a parallel execution in combination of different operating systems and browser environments. The next advantage is the low cost maintenance. It is cheaper compared to manual testing in a log long run. And it is more rel reliable and the next advantage is automated testing is more powerful and versatile so i like that uh, so many advantages are there uh, to use a test automation framework the last question is uh, did you apply any oops principles uh, in your project if you apply uh, oops means oops principles where you applied so this is a very uh, frequent last question you must say you must know answer for this one so oops principles means uh, abstraction interface inheritance polymorphism encapsulation these are all the topics for oops principles then where do you apply uh, these principles uh, in your project Suppose if you take abstraction concept, this abstraction abstraction concept you applied in phase object model design pattern. Uh, suppose we write uh, locators such as ID, name, XPath, etc. in a phase class. 
we utilize these locators in test but we cannot see these locators in the test that means we are hiding the locators from the test so abstraction means it is a methodology of hiding implementation of internal details and showing the functionality to the users the next principle is interface so where do you apply interface concept in uh, uh, selenium framework mean the basic statement we know we all know uh, selenium is a web driver so we write, uh, we write the statement like uh, uh, like this a web driver Driver equal to new web driver. Driver equal to new Firefox driver. So this is a statement uh, where you apply in head uh, interface concept. Here we are initializing Firefox browser using Selenium web driver. It means we are creating a reference variable. Here reference variable is a driver. Okay. Uh, driver of the interface which one web driver interface and creating an object for firefox driver so here web driver is an interface as mentioned earlier in firefox driver class the next question uh, the next thing is in inheritance where you apply inheritance concept in your project so we create a base class in the firefox in the framework to initialize a web driver interface, a web driver weights, property files, Excel, etc. All these are com comes into base class, and we extend the base class in other class such as test classes and utility classes. So extending one class into other class is known as inheritance. So like this, we are applying OOPs principles in our project. Okay. So so these are the frequently asked some test automation framework entry questions for freshers and experience. So if you like our videos, so please share our videos and like our videos. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.